Okay, friends. And I have, I'm on a roll. I might as well record the last one of 9-11-2009. Now, I have a funny confession to make. I got the headset on and got the cords all wound down so it wasn't down the front of my shirt. And then I forgot to connect it. So the last one for the number three, um, I looked like I was using the headset mic, but I wasn't. Now for this one, I am. And I'm going to trust you guys to share with me whether you think there's enough improvement in the audio, if you're sensitive to that, to make it worth it. Because I don't care. Either way is fine. It doesn't matter. All right. Now, I really do have some hesitance about uh, this, this journal. It's called Musing on Science, Hammerhoff, etc., and St. Germain. Um, just like with the, now this is from about a year and a half ago, and just like in the last one, I dove back into some practices, the, the questions that I haven't been doing for some time. It's the same thing with this. Um, I have gone through stages where I have tried and done this, that, and the other and stuck with it while I felt it worked and then moved on. Uh, at the end, uh, I, would, I would channel sometimes. I would normally not um, invite this. It would just be something that would come into the flow and a being would speak with me. I would carry on the conversation and so on. So I just uh, want to share with you that um, at a certain point, I didn't swear off of this, but I kind of did. I made a decision that while there were times that I know, and I can, I can clearly identify in my journals when that being is divine that I'm conversing with, there are other times when uh, they're tricksters and they're wily and uh, they can catch you off guard. And I know at least some of the time when I was speaking to uh, the being uh, Saint Germain that sometimes it was the imposter. And since I couldn't see clearly enough, I couldn't clearly distinguish, I decided, well, guess what? I don't need that. And if I don't need it, why take a choice on being deceived in any way, shape, or form? So that's kind of where you find me now. So let's dive into this one together and see if between us we can't discern. Was this the real one or the imposter? Let's have some fun with it. Okay, here we go. Viewing some Stuart Hammeroff vids on YouTube and marveling at quantum physics and these oh so bright scientists, doctors, researchers, and their many theories of consciousness. It is sad, in a way, how bright you can be, yet how wrong you can go when your underlying postulates or axioms are not correct such as the brain being either the source or the repository of consciousness. It misses the biggest point, perhaps, which is that absolutely everything is conscious. All it would take would be one OBE or an NDE, and these people would simply know that the brain is not a necessary element to consciousness. One doesn't even require a body, much less a brain, to be conscious. Consciousness is just not what they are thinking it is. When, oh when, will we put the soul and spirit back into the sciences? It was there for a long while. It's only our current age that's kicked it out. Isaac Newton did a tremendous amount of work. In, in these these different directions and it's completely ignored in in favor of the, the law of gravity and, and that sort of thing. 
an Indian scientist from the last century. Bose, I think his name is, established the presence of consciousness not only in plants, but in minerals and metals as well. We are talking absolute visible evidence that they are consciously aware and can respond to stimuli. Yet, when our scientists hold the beliefs and prejudices that they do, they cannot see this, cannot allow for this, and so it is ignored. This man will draw great fame later in the century. What will it take to bring the sciences around, God? St. Germain, what do you see? Is the work of Greg Braden and some other scientists of his ilk sufficient to turn the table on this and reunite science and spirituality? He answers, No, Teresa, not in the short run. It will take more. It will take the actual experiencing of consciousness as vibratory rates rise higher and higher and enlightenment simply comes for so many. The understanding will not come at all from the left brain, but rather from experiential understanding. By then, it won't need to be explained any longer because everyone will be having the same experiences. Yes, it will help to have some there who will be explaining will be helping people to make sense of their experiences. The ones who will be the most credible, however, will be those whose writings occurred before the mass experiences, the awakenings. These then will catch on like wildfire, the word spreading around, telepathically and otherwise, assisting the many to comprehend and understand to integrate their new experiences into the understanding of life. Radical change is afoot. The work of these brilliant ones, basing their work on faulty foundations, will be all but irrelevant, being wiped out in a moment of the direct experience. Likewise, with so many scientists, such as Peter Miller, who base so much of their work on the evolution theory, which is simply false from beginning to end. Even Darwin disavowed it later in life, but too many had based their reputations on it by then, and so it stayed. Once you begin reading the DNA from within, everything will change. Everyone will have equal access to the literal truth, to the experiences not only of their own lifetimes, but of their entire lineage and of the entire cosmos. All will be available, and none will be denied access to the truth. What a day that will be indeed! Yes, it will come as the DNA is rebundled and reintegrated within the cells, that is true. The thymus organ will be activated with the first triangulation, the integration of the third DNA strand. That will start the process of the reactivation of both pineal and pituitary glands, opening the way for the higher chakras to come online and activate. With the second triangulation and the star tetrahedron formation appearing in every cell will come the beginnings of the ability to read the DNA. The chakras will further activate in one and all and so then no one will be able to hide their deceit from another for all will be able to decode the vibratory information. Everyone will realize fully that each one is a broadcasting station, both sending and receiving 
the frequencies of life. No, Teresa, you are not just putting words into my mouth. I am participating with you in this transmission. The fact that it seems to be coming to you so naturally is actually a good sign, not the reverse, so be at peace. Just take down the words and then, over time, as they come true, you will be able to look back and to see how accurate your work was. And I say, thank you, St. Germain. I want so much to trust, and I do, but I still seem to retain a level of caution. I hope it does not get in the way. And he answers, no child, it is fine and to be expected. Good day. And good day. And good night. And good now. Here. Either way is fine. It doesn't matter. All right. Now, I really do have some hesitance about uh, this, this journal. It's called Musing on Science, Hammerhoff, etc., and St. Germain. Um, just like with the, now this is from about uh, at the end, uh, I would I would channel sometimes. I would normally not um, invite this. It would just be something that would come into the flow and a being would speak with me. I would carry on the conversation and so on. So I just uh, want to share with you that um, a year and a half ago, and just like in the last one, I dove back into some practices, the, the questions that I haven't been doing for some time. It's the same thing with this. Um, I have gone through stages where I have tried and done this, that, and the other and stuck with it while I felt it worked and then moved on. Okay, friends. And I have, I'm on a roll. I might as well record the last one of 9-11-2009. Now, I have a funny confession to make. I got the headset on and got the cords all wound down so it wasn't down the front of my shirt, and then I forgot to connect it. So the last one, for the number three, um, I looked like I was using the headset mic, but I wasn't. Now for this one, I am. And I'm going to trust you guys to share with me whether you think there's enough improvement in the audio, if you're sensitive to that, to make it worth it. Because I don't care.